Tasmania's wedge-tailed eagles are really special. I think they hold a special place in, in all of our hearts. Number one thing is they're obviously that iconic species. Everyone has a story about an eagle. I've been observing eagles since I was a, a very small child. I can remember my first incidents like seeing eagles at close quarters and being impressed at, you know, when I was 10. They say, oh, there's plenty of eagles out there. And my response is, I don't know. So we estimate that there's less than a thousand birds, but this is completely based on what nests are being used and it wasn't the, covering the whole of Tasmania. And that's where we're, we're wedgie and getting everybody involved to try and find out how these eagles are doing. That's how it all links together. What you need is people power. So a survey that actually involves a lot of people, not just one or two experts, but a lot of people, spreads the ownership. Well, Where We're Wedgie is a citizen science project, but it's also, um, from my point of view, heavily an education project about getting young people, middle-aged people, and the older people involved in learning more about wedge-tailed eagles. We're gonna ask people to bring their eyes to the sky across Tasmania. So basically, if you sign up, what you'll be doing is getting out into the bush and looking for eagles and you'll be one of hundreds of people that are hopefully covering little areas all throughout Tasmania looking for eagles at the exact same time um, to see if they see any or not. If we don't have eagles here and devils don't come back and we've lost thylacines we're going to have um, you know, far more serious pest control problems with the sorts of things that these animals eat. Probably in the past 50 years there's been quite an evolution of the threats um, that have been seen uh, impacting on eagles. And obviously a lot of farmers used to shoot them. That, that's changed a lot these days. One of the big ones is their sensitivity to disturbance during the breeding season, where if we get too close, they'll fly off and abandon their nests, which is a bad one, the babies die. Despite their amazing vision, they do have a, a terrible habit of colliding into things. They can fly around wind turbines extremely expertly most of the time, but just every now and then they'll be distracted. If they're focusing on a prey, item or anything, a tree they want to land in, past the power line, they just aren't focusing on it and they'll crash into it and they'll injure themselves. So they might be standing on a pylon uh, on a live point and then open their wings and connect to another one and get electrocuted that way. We have this ongoing threat to the population and to individuals and unfortunately most of the time it's on those youngsters that really don't have the skill yet to deal with those impacts and, and those threatening processes. Our essential advantage over most other organisms is our, our ability to apply our curiosity, not just to survive yourself, but to make things better for, for other people. And to do that, you've got to make the world better. What we'd really like as many people as possible to do is to sign up on the Nature Trackers website to participate in Where Where Wedgie this year. For 10 minutes, up in the sky, checking all the trees, is there anyone sitting there? Uh, and if they, if they see any of the target species, the eagles or uh, the uh, other birds of prey, then they record what they've seen. We don't just want to know if you see an eagle, we need to know if you don't see an eagle because that's a negative, that means there, is, there wasn't a bird there. One of the really key messages for this project is you probably won't see a wedge-tailed eagle on your survey and that is an important thing to remember. What we need is accurate, accurate records and a zero, that is I didn't see an eagle, is an accurate record. So people must never be frightened of zeros on surveys. We just don't know if this is going to work or not. It all depends on the number of people that we get involved. But I'm an optimist. I think that the majority of Tasmanians are really into this sort of thing and will really enjoy it. We have to have a lot more people engaged than the key people are not the politicians, they're the young people that will have the bright ideas who will have to deal with this over the next decade or two or three or how long. And it's not experts such as myself. Join us for the Where Where Wedgie survey. Join us to learn more about wedge-tailed eagles. Help us understand about this wonderful bird and has something to do with its conservation far into the future.